very best of morning to all today we will be solving solving the math sort problem it's a hard level problem and we can take up to 20 minutes to solve this problem coming to the problem definition we will be given two sorted arrays 1 2 3 5 7 and 0 2 5 2 0 2 6 8 and our aim is to bring out a merged and sorted array in the order 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. so uh, basic the basic logic behind this problem is so let us solve this we can do a dry run on it okay so the basic logic so r in one okay and let the array to we have q1 so the first step uh, will be creating a new array the salt array salt array the salt array of size size of size of size m plus n size of array if the size of array 1 is m and size of array 2 is n so let us move forward so first step will be initializing initializing the counter variables let counter 1 i mean so first step will be step 1 will be initializing the initializing the counter variables counter variables so we have to initialize three counter variables uh, one is c1 for the array 1 other is c2 for the array 2 and r1 r for the resultant array counter all three are initialized to 0 so C1 will uh, point to the first element, and C2 will be pointing to the first element. C2, C2, and the resultant array. The item will be pointing to the. I mean, the R will be R pointer will be pointing to the first element. So. from c1 and c2 we have to pick the smallest element here the smallest element is 0 and we have to insert that element at the rth location so we are inserting 0 here and incrementing c2 now c2 will point to here and r will be pointing to the next location now from c1 and c2 location we have to pick the smallest element now the smallest element is 1 so we have to insert that one at rth location and increment c c1 as well as increment r now we have to pick the smallest element from c2 and c1 the smallest element now is 2 so we have to insert the 2 here increment c2 and increment r now we have to pick the smallest element now the smallest element is 3 so we have to insert 3 in the rth location increment c1 as well as increment r now we have to pick the smallest element among c1 and c2 the smallest element is 5 so we have to insert 5 here and increment c1 as well as increment r now we have to check the smallest among c1 and c2 smallest is 6 so we have to insert 6 at the rth location increment c2 and 
increment r now c1 have reached its end so uh, we have to uh, so our next duty is to uh, if there is one more element say element 15 so just need to insert all the remaining elements into the array so what we will be doing is we will be inserting 8 I mean so, so. so at this stage so we will be keep on inserting till the array is empty I mean till we reach the end of the array so 8 we will be inserting and we will be moving forward we will be inserting 9 we will be inserting incrementing c2 inserting 10 we'll be incrementing r and we will be inserting 50 we will be incrementing till we reach the end of the array which is left out so that's the logic and we will move forward to the implementation so this is the logic I will pick the smallest element insert it into the array then increment the counters of both the array as well as the result array so so this is the logic first we have to get the lengths of array create a result array of length n plus m n plus m and initialize three variables counter one counter two and result counter and our logic is if the element if the element at array counter one if the element at counter one is greater than counter two then then we have to insert the array one element and increment the counter that's what we are doing here see this element is smaller than this element counter one element counter two value is less than counter one value so we are inserting the counter two into the resultant array and incrementing the counter two value as well as the resultant array i mean resultant r counter so else we have to do the reverse reverse of same thing but we have to increment the counter to array to counter to so that's the logic and uh, once we reach the end of step 5 once we reach the once we reach the end of the once we reach the end of any one counter uh, any one array we have to we have to keep on inserting until the array is empty until the the other array is empty so we will uh, check the implementation it's a bit lengthy code so I have implemented it and checked so so step one we are initializing step one initializing the counter counter variables step two will be step two getting the length of array we are getting the length using the dot length property and step 3 is step 3 creating a new
creating a new array new array with the with the length m plus yeah. so here max is equal to n plus n so we are creating uh, that new array and we are running a loop until we reach the end of eighth or one running Until we reach the reach the end of any one array, uh, we are running the loop until counter one is less than n or counter two is less than m. If they reach n, then we have reached the end of one array. If counter two reaches n, then it reach the end of second array. So if the element of counter one is less than element of counter uh, if if element of uh, counter one is less than uh, element of counter two then we are inserting that element into the result array incrementing the counter one as well as incrementing the result counter. Else if the element of uh, second array is less then we are inserting the element of second array incrementing the counter to and incrementing the result counter and our step 4 is the main logic step 4 is the is the main logic behind behind the merging once we reach the end of any one array our program control will be here I mean on the line 39 the step 5 will be inserting all the remaining elements step 5 will be inserting all the remaining elements inserting all the remaining elements so from counter 1 we are inserting all the remaining elements here we are inserting elements of array 1 remaining elements of array 1 here we are inserting all the remaining elements of array 2 and finally we are returning the finally we are returning the result of returning returning the result array at first it will be a bit difficult later you will get used to it it's a easy logic and that coming to the analysis of this problem we can solve this problem the big of n complexity since we are running uh, through the entire elements sorry plus n complexity since we are running to, through all the elements at least once and space complexity will be also m plus n so time and space complexity. Thank you.